What's going on y'all? I'm Zar, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a tip on managing client expectations. This is a topic that we recently covered on my podcast, the Faders Up podcast, and the topic came to us from NIAX. So if you have a topic that you wanna hear discussed on my podcast, either comment on this video or reach out to the podcast and let us know. And if you wanna hear this topic discussed in full, I'll have a link to the episode in the video description. So managing client expectations, the tip is to find out what the expectations are of the client, or you know, for short, just ask questions. I know when you get a song, you're eager to jump in and start mixing, or you know, you get in the studio and ready to record. You wanna ask questions and find out things like, you know, what type of vibe are you going for on this song? What are you looking for? Uh, like, you know, if someone is going for like an old school 90s R&B sound, I'm not gonna use my cleanest preamps, but that's something that you wanna know before you start the recording process. You know, same way with mixing. You know, you don't wanna get into a situation where you've worked on a mix and then sent it to the client and it's just totally not what they were expecting. So you wanna have communication and ask those questions up front. On the flip side, you wanna ask questions to make sure that you're the right person for the job. You know, for example, you know, client might be expecting the song to be recorded directly to tape and you don't have a tape machine. These are things that need to be discussed up front so you don't get all the way to the studio and the client's like, oh, I thought this was going to be done to tape. So just communication, asking questions, find out what the client is looking for to make sure that you're able to deliver that. And again, if you want to hear this topic discussed in full, link in the description to the episode where we discuss this on my podcast. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.